babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun, if you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It is the moment that we've all been impatiently waiting for. This is my massive, enormous, gigantic try on haul of everything that I purchased from Aritzia's clientele sale. It is their summer event and it actually ends this weekend, you guys. So if you haven't taken advantage of their sale prices, go ahead and run because you know I ran as soon as that door opened up for me. <laughs> if you haven't checked out my previous two videos on the Aritzia clientele sale, I cover my recommendations along with what I actually purchased myself and what was in my cart at that moment. Go ahead and check it out. It's on my channel. It won't be hard to find. <laughs> I cover the Aritzia sale every single year. So if you're into that content, make sure to subscribe because a lot of you guys, for some reason, when I look at my analytics, you guys aren't subscribed. So make sure to do that. Don't do your girl dirty like that. <laughs> I am over the moon, you guys, about all of these pieces. They worked out so well for me this year, with the exception of one item, but it got resolved and I will get into that in a little bit. <laughs> the one thing you guys should note about Aritzia's clientele sale is, well, in general, they have a really crappy return and exchange policy. So just keep that in mind when you're placing orders online and when you're shopping in stores, because a lot of the things have really big limitations. Like you won't be able to return things if they're over 50% uh, off of uh, on sale. So just make sure to read that fine line. I know you guys are itching and dying to see everything that I purchased. As always, I'll have try on clips next to me on whichever side so you guys can see everything on me and I will talk in depth about each of the pieces. Well, maybe not super in depth in this video because we got a lot to cover. I went a little crazy, you guys. <laughs> Intro is finally over, let's dive into it. The first thing that I am so excited to wear this summer is this romper. Isn't this the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> I have the Black Divinity romper, which I actually featured in my recommendations video a couple days back. And I told you guys that I was, am, was thinking about getting another romper to add to my collection because I only had that one Black Divinity romper from Aritzia. So I wanted to pick up this one. This is the Butter Fabric Sway romper and it is in an extra small in the color cognac. By the way, all of my measurements for reference in case that's helpful for you guys in terms of sizing is in the description as always, along with all the links, sizes, colors that I got in this haul. So everything will be down below. I mentioned this before in my videos, but rompers and just one piece outfits are a little tricky for me because I do have a longer torso for someone who is petite. I'm only like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, in terms of height, but I do have a longer torso. So these types of pieces I'm a little weary about. This worked out super, super well for me as did the Divinity Romper, but Aritzia bodysuits, I cannot do. Their torso length is so short, I cannot wear those. It's so uncomfortable, but the, the rompers work out super well for me. I'm obsessed, guys, with this color. Beautiful. It is a warm toned, true rich brown. I wanted a brown one. This is the back because I have a black one in the Divinity style. I am converted to this style of romper. I don't know why this one isn't as popular. This is so flattering and I, I think this is more comfortable than the Divinity romper. So super, super cute. This one does look a little bit more athletic in the back, but I actually don't mind it because usually I cover myself up with a button up or a button down shirt over a romper like this. That's what I'm planning to do to style this with some white sneakers for the summer. I'm obsessed. I went a little wild with the dresses. I have a total of like five dresses to show you and more coming my way. Not everything got to me in time and I wanted to film this video with majority of the pieces here because the sale is ending soon and I wanted you guys to have this content to make some decisions if you guys are teetering or to give you some ideas on what to pick up if you're on the market for some pieces like this. That said, I placed another last minute order yesterday so it's not coming to me. I don't think until like tomorrow or in two days and I just think that's a little too late for me to film and edit and upload in time for you guys to see it. Definitely we'll do another haul 
eventually when those pieces come in. As I was saying, I went a little crazy with the dresses because I am traveling a lot this summer and I really want to incorporate more mini dresses into my wardrobe that are more of like the timeless colors and styles. And this was just a very simple black cami dress that I thought would be perfect for summer. It is the contour cami dress in the color black, obviously, in size extra small. Fits true to size. If you guys have not experienced the Aritzia contour line, chef's kiss, it's so good. It snatches you, makes you look so good. It's flattering on almost everyone, I feel. And I love the silhouettes that they come out in for this contour line. I really like the fabric. It's very substantial and really thick, but still really comfortable. And I love that it holds you in, especially for bodycon kind of tighter dresses like this. I love the contour material. In the back, it does have adjustable straps, which is a must for me. I know this may appear to be more of like a going out dress, but personally, I feel like you can totally dress this down with some sneakers and just a moto jacket over top or a more masculine blazer that would look so cute. This is also from the contour line, just a different cut. Like the neckline is more of a square neck. It's literally called contour square neck dress in the color coffee bean and an extra small. I'm obsessed with anything with a square neckline. I think it's so aesthetic and very flattering on smaller chested gals like me. I do think that this neckline is something that I will reach for more than the cami, but I'm glad that I have different options when it comes to necklines. Yesterday when I placed the additional order, I actually included another contour dress, but in the mock neck style in black. That is coming in a haul real soon. Brown is a color that I gravitate towards a lot because it's just slightly different than your typical black, but still neutral and you can add it to your capsule wardrobe. So this is awesome. I love it. Next is this dress. It's called the new Saturn mini dress in the color Seville in an extra small. This dress is just so comfortable. It is a very soft kind of cotton-like fabric. I'm pretty sure it's cotton. I love this color. It's like a sandy dark beige color. I think this dress is adorable and perfect for the summer months like going to the beach or a tropical island like this and a margarita in hand. It's just like a picturesque moment. I also feel like this is a dress that's very cute and chic, but it's still casual. Casual. Like you didn't try too hard, but you're still wearing a dress. I'm definitely going to pack this for my Seattle trip coming up later this month because I think this is super effortless and very good for days when I want to be comfortable but still want to look cute, you know? I love this on. I think the little wrap detail with the little tie to the side is a really cute touch. At first, I was a little worried about the slit or the wrap where it meets because I was like, oh my gosh, what if it exposes? parts of me that I don't want exposed, <laughs> but I actually moved around like my legs and stuff and it doesn't seem to write up like that. So I'm not worried about that anymore. Moving on to the sculpt knit dresses, I grabbed two of them. I was also inclined to get a third one of the off the shoulder or one shoulder dress, but I had self-control in that regard. <laughs> this is the square neck sculpt knit tank in the color white and in size extra small. I am so impressed by how flattering this looks. I mean, I already knew that because I like sculpt knit material from Aritzia. I think it's very flattering on. Snatches you kind of like the contour line, but with more fabric and thicker material. Although one thing that I will note about the whole sculpt knit line, they get snagged really easily. So just be careful. But if you take care of them, they last forever. And I just think they're so aesthetic. <laughs> they look so good on. I got a white color because I wanted to test how well this performs as a white dress. I have trouble finding white dresses that are not see-through, so I thought because the sculpt knit materials are thicker and more substantial that they would mitigate that as much as it can as a white dress. But with something like this, I definitely will wear like a nude thong or skin-toned undergarment, so I'm not super worried if it's slightly see-through, but I do think that this fabric is really good to mitigate that as much as possible. I love the sculpt knit dresses so much that I got it in a different style and color. This is, what is this? The crisscross sculpt knit dress in gold camel in an extra small. First off, this color 
is stunning. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this crisscross neck situation because I have this in a white sculpt knit top version. This is so flattering. I cannot wait to wear this on like a date night. Not much more to say about this because I already ran on and on about how much I love the sculpt knits, but yeah, super excited to rock this for a date night or, you know, more fancier occasions. Okay, now we are moving to the lightweight jackets and blazer category. This is honestly one of my favorite territories to be in. I am so impressed by so many of these pieces. Well, if not all of them. First off, I got the freeform shirt. I think that's what it's called in matte pearl. And I actually grabbed this in an XX small because they were sold out of the extra small. And I did hear that this runs big, which worked out in my favor because I'm typically an extra small, but I grabbed an XX small and it fits me perfectly like the way that I would want it to fit. The most effortless lightweight jacket that you can have on hand for spring and summer. I love it so, so much. It says that it's a shirt, but I find it more appropriate as like a lightweight jacket. I guess you could button it all up and then like, I don't know, wear it as a sh actual shirt, but that's just not how I'm probably going to style it. It is so breezy, flexible, I mean, it's everything that I wanted this shirt to be. I think this is perfect if you are going into air conditioned buildings in the middle of summer, so you need something to cover yourself up. I love having something on hand, like another layer to put on top of me because I get really cold. Next is this, what is this called? I think this is like the linen, like oversized linen shirt or something. No, it's called the relaxed linen in the color GD taupe beige in XX small. I did also grab this in an XX small because extra small was sold out, unfortunately, but I'm glad that I got it in a double X small because this also runs really big. This fits me perfectly, but still looks oversized on me. I love these types of like really relaxed, kind of less crispy material button downs for cover-ups at the beach or to layer on top of like a mini top or something like that. I love this color as well. It is a darker kind of taupey beige. Finally, let's get into the blazers. I grabbed three different styles of blazers from Aritzia. I think eventually I am going to be filming a video comparing all the different blazer styles that I personally own from Aritzia so that you guys can see a little, I don't know, like the differences between the styles and how it fits on me and the sizing. So that video will come up eventually, maybe in the fall because that's more appropriate like blazer season. This is the Generation Blazer in the color Light Birch and I got it in a size extra small. I think this blazer is not as oversized as the new Agency Blazer but it's also not super fitted either. I don't like super fitted blazers on me because they just look a little too like buttoned up, like polished. I like my blazers a little bit more boxy, relaxed, but not super masculine with giant shoulder pads. That's just not my look. It like drowns my petiteness, my petite short body. <laughs> this one I think works really well. I probably wouldn't size down because the shoulders fit me right where it's supposed to. The sleeves are a tad bit long, but that goes for all blazers from Aritzia. All the sleeves are pretty long on me because I have short mini arms, but that's okay. I'm just going to kind of fold it over, which is also like a nice look. I wanted to get this color light birch because I have, I believe the effortless pants in this color. So I thought that would be really good to have a, as a set. I am a little worried about staining this blazer. So I will be very, very, careful when wearing this. I think during the summer months, it's really nice to have a lighter colored blazer on hand for more formal occasions, but also to dress down as well. I love wearing blazers with some sneakers, some shorts and like a bralette on top, super cute. The next blazer has a slightly different look because it is, I believe like double breasted, has like a different buttoning style, but this is called the Destiny Blazer in the color Seville. I actually sized down in this blazer because I read some reviews saying that this runs pretty big. So I sized down to a double zero. I am glad that I sized down in this because it does fit me like perfectly. Maybe it's a tiny bit snug around the arms, like if I try to like move my arms like this way, but I 
definitely would stick with the size lower rather than your true size because I think if I do go with a zero, it would be pretty massive on me. Like I said, I love the Seville color from Aritzia. It is the perfect warm tan in my opinion. It is so gorgeous and rich. The sleeves are kind of long on me still even in a double zero, but it's not as long as the other blazer. The sleeves are a little bit longer in the generation blazer, but I also did get my true size in that one or my typical size. I size down in this one. I do feel like with Aritzia blazers, it's always kind of like a good rule of thumb to size down if you are unsure or if you're in between sizes because they do typically run slightly big. All right, you guys, this is the blazer of my dreams. I am so glad that I picked this up. I also picked it up in black. It is the Vogue blazer, but let me clarify something. So I was telling you at the beginning of this video, I had a little bit of an incident <laughs> with this blazer because I got this blazer first. This came in, I tried it on, absolutely loved it. It's the Vogue blazer in the color, I believe, it's like rich mocha brown or something, but I'll leave it in the description. And I got it in a size one. So this size metrics or the way that they do sizing for this particular blazer is one, two, or three. There's only three sizes. I was like, oh my gosh, this fits me so well. The, they don't actually have shoulder pads in these. It's really hard for me to find a blazer that will give me that boyfriend masculine look without drowning me in it. So when I found this, it was a dream come true. I mean, I was obsessed and still obsessed with this blazer. So fast forward, I actually place another order and I try to get the black one of this, right? <laughs> and it comes in and the sizing metrics, whatever, it, that it was different. I size all the way down to an XX small because that was the size that it went in. It went from like XX small to like an extra large. So I just grabbed the smallest, smallest size because the number one was the smallest out of the three sizes. The name of the blazer was the exact same. The material said it was the exact same. It's the city wool material, which is great for all seasons. When that blazer came in, the black one, the Vogue blazer, the same one that I thought I was getting, it has massive shoulder pads and it's huge, even in an XX small. So I clearly bought something else that has the same exact name. Obviously the only difference that I could tell was the way that the sizing worked, but I thought it was still like the same style and silhouette and material of blazer just in black. And the caveat was that these blazers were 50% off and anything that's 50% or more off from the Aritzia clientele sale, there is like absolutely like no returns exchanges. They have a really harsh return like policy for that. So I was really, really bummed because even with 50% off, it's a little over $100 for a blazer. So I go into the store and I see the correct blazer in black without the shoulder pads because that's what I prefer without it. And in the sizing like one, two, three, I find it and I'm like, what the heck? I'm so confused. It's called the same thing, literally everything on the website. So I go to Aritzia, literally plead to allow me to exchange it for the one that I thought I was getting. They were super, super nice and made a one-time exception and did the exchange for me, even if I technically wouldn't be able to. That was kind of the drama, I guess, <laughs> the tea about this Vogue blazer. So just make sure to get the one that says that it does not have shoulder pads if you want the look that I am getting with this particular blazer because they look very different. To go with that blazer, I grabbed the pleated pant in the same color, rich mocha brown, and I got it in a size zero and the petite version. I think this is the short version. They have a regular and then the tall version as well for this color. I always grab the short version of the pleated pant if possible because I don't have to get them hemmed. It is the perfect length on me. It falls exactly where I want it to. I wanted to have this so that I can match it with the Vogue blazer that I showed you if I ever wanted to wear them at the same time, but the colors don't match. And I think it's just because the material is different. This one is like the city wool and this one is obviously not. It's something else. So as you can see, the colors are different even if it's called the same color. That's that, but ooh, that's okay. I am 
happy to wear them separately with other outfits and I have so many of these pleated pants you guys I think I have it in matte pearl I also have it in a black and then I have this one so I have three pairs I think it's literally the perfect fit for me and I love the look of it it just looks a little bit more dressier in my opinion than the effortless pants the material is also thicker and more substantial but it doesn't actually get me super super hot like I could still wear this in the summer on like a not super super hot day it is a wide leg and high rise i just get my true size zero some aritzia things i do have to size up to a two but this one i just kept with my typical size this is the last jacket of this haul and i featured this jacket in my recommendations video because i have the matte pearl color version of this i decided to grab another one but in a different color because of how much I wear this item, especially for spring and fall when the weather is a little bit chillier but not super cold enough to wear an actual thicker jacket. This is the autumn, I believe, shirt jacket in the faux leather material. Um, I think that's what it's called. In the color cognac and in size extra small. I had someone ask me about this jacket in the comments in my last video asking if this was really stiff. And no, this is like super soft. I feel like Aritzia makes some of the best faux leather, like vegan leather pieces. I wear my matte pearl color autumn shirt jacket so, 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 so much. That's my go-to in the spring and fall. So I wanted to add another color. I cannot recommend this jacket enough it's just such a cool jacket i love it <laughs> all right we are near the end you guys oh my goodness are you still with me if you're still with me leave an emoji down below of like a unicorn is there a unicorn emoji i'm pretty sure there is <laughs> the last three pieces are actually just shorts they're loungewear shorts this is the celine shorts this color is in total eclipse in an extra small, I am not gonna lie, I grabbed this in all the colors because it was 50% off. I think it came down to like $15 per pair, which is phenomenal. Honestly, I just needed more loungewear pants or loungewear shorts in particular because all of mine are like longer sweatpants. It's getting warmer and I need more shorts basically. So I bought this style in all the colors that they offered. I am pretty much set for life in terms of loungewear shorts, but yeah, this is great. It fits true to size, it's an extra small. On me, it fits a little bit higher than a mid-rise, but I think it's classified as a mid-rise short. Super comfortable, it is more of a booty short, so it will kind of show your butt cheeks a little bit, but I'm only planning on wearing this inside the comfort of my home. Another pair of shorts that I grabbed is in the cozy dolphin short, which is interesting. I don't know why it's called the dolphin short. It's in the two inch length, in the color GD Dusty Pink in size extra small. This one was also 50% off. So I think it came down to like 20 bucks or something. This has like fleece lining. I think the Celine shorts is just like terry cloth, which is a little bit more lightweight. I love sweat shorts. It's, I don't know, super comfortable. I really love it. These ones actually have drawstrings to adjust your waist if you need to. These, I will say, I think runs a little bit more relaxed. It's not super like big or anything, and I'm glad that it has the adjustable waist, but yeah, it's not as fitted as the Celine shorts, I will say. And the Celine shorts, the waistband is just like very plain. It's just elastic, doesn't have any draw cords or anything, but this one does. This is another pair of shorts, and I got this Melrose Waflex short in black and in an extra small. This fits me super well. It is more of a high-waisted short than the other two that I showed you. And it has that waffle knit material texture to it. It also has drawstrings, so you can adjust the waist if needed. Very, very comfortable for summer. It's more thin than the other two shorts. Super breezy and yeah, there's not much more to it. It's a black pair of shorts, you know? Alrighty, you guys, that was a long video. <laughs> At least to me, I'm gonna have to edit this down a lot, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions regarding any of these pieces, let me know. I'm happy to help out where I can. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled for another haul for all the other pieces that are coming in. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around, and I'll talk to you guys in the comments.